Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, back with more Daily Nuzlocke, and god damn is it hot. It's hot in California for some godforsaken reason. It really sucks. That's it. So today's Nuzlocke, we're gonna beat up Team Rocket and see if I can feel a bit better about the heat. Man! I hate the heat so much. Words can't express it. I'm gonna see if... Doc can fight um, this muck. And if he dies to this muck, then he was gonna die to the dragons anyway. So let's not. Okay, all the muck can do in Defiance is get hard. It really shouldn't be able to beat me. In theory. Unless it starts using poison and then minimizes itself, then it can beat me. I don't know what move it could have that would be able to beat. Yeah, it doesn't know anything. Jesus Christ, though. Uh, apparently that doesn't matter, because Doc doesn't have defense for crap. Go die, Muck. The heat has really just driven any sense of civility I had towards Muck out the window. Thank you, Doc. Nice. That's bad, because you know explosion. Hello, Kid Fisto. If he can't take a pound, he can't take an explosion to the face. That is my... yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know who can take an explosion to the face? Kit Fisto. Strongest rock type there is known to man. And chances are he would have died to this as well. Just because Hyper Fang. Pop pop. That's a... I'm gonna say that kills. That kills, right? Come on. Come on! Yes. Perfect. Nice, Confisto's getting up there. Roll out. Roll out. No. Yes. Roll out. Who else remembers the music career of Ludacris? I'm gonna assume. Well, there's no way. Was Ludacris roll out? Roll out. Roll out. I'm trying to. If I sing any more, then I get copyright struck. But I'm pretty. Po I'm pretty positive. Roll out is Ludacris. It's been. To be fair, the only version of Roll Out I remember is one that's remixed. I think with a the Transformers theme. So my version of Roll Out kind of sounds different from what it, the actual version of it. The only two ludicrous songs I actually remember is uh, "Get Back." Uh, the the mu have you ever seen the music video for "Get Get Back"? Not "Get Out," but "Get Back." If you're unfamiliar with, by the way, if you don't know, Ludacris, who is one of the actors of "The Fast and the Furious," he is a rapper. I don't know if he puts out albums anymore, but during the 2000s, he had a hit song called um, uh, "Get Back." Where he told people, get back, motherfucker, you don't know me like that. Whoop, whoop. I ain't playing around. Take one false move and he'll take you down. Get back, motherfucker, get back. Y'all know me like that. I can continue on, but you get my point. Um, uh, and in that music video, which you should see, he has like huge Hulk hands. And it's all about like people bothering him at like inappropriate times. Like he's at the back. He's in the toilet and he's trying to pee with his giant Hulk hands holding what I assume is a normal sized penis. Because um, it's his penis. Not to, uh, not to say I don't know what Ludacris' penis looks like. But let's say for the sake of argument, it looks normal. Um, whatever normal for Ludacris. Anyway, but the point does the penis does not matter in this story. The point is, is that he's trying to take a piss. He uses one of his giant Hulk hands, puts it on his Johnson. Uh, he's peeing, and then a man comes up to him in the toilet and says, Pop, pop! No, he doesn't say pop, pop. Um, he, he says, um, Yo, Luda, I love your work. And he's, like, talking to him while he's peeing. And he's peeing, like, right next to him, talking to him. And then Luda's, like, trying to be, you know, he's ludicrous. But he's not, like, uncouth. Um, so he just asked the man, Hey, man, that's cool. You're a fan. Can you please back up a little bit? I'm trying to pee. And the guy just won't stop until finally Ludacris has to throw hands with the man. And by throw hands, I mean he chokes him while singing the Get Back song. And then he goes on a GTA-style rampage across the city. 
uh, pop up and he like dances with a bunch of kids at one point. It's really weird. Um, but he has giant Hulk hands is the crux of the story. Um, the giant Hulk hands are very funny. Ah, uh, you blew it. Yeah, you did. Now I have to go freaking heal up Git Fisto because he's poisoned. Um, but yeah, so Luda had the song Get Back. Uh, fantastic song. The other song I remember from him is Runaway Love, which also has a memorable music video, at least I think so, where it's like Mary J. Blige. I don't know if it's a Ludacris song or it's a Mary J. Blige song where Ludacris sings in it. I kind of forget the way it goes. Well, you know what? I think Ludacris is the one saying most things through it, and then Mary J. Blige is like the one singing in the background. Point is, back to the story. That has a memorable music video because Runaway Love is about, I think, girls who ran away from home. Um, so at the end of it, it has like wanted posters, which who, which what I assume is real runaway girls. Um, so it's a more impactful song than I guess Get Back, but Get Back, I could tell you the exact beat to beat moments because I, I re recently rewatched the Get Back music video. Why? I don't know. I want to hear the song. It's a good song. It tells you everything you need to know. I like a rap song um, that tells a story. And the story I get back is, you don't know me like that. Please, sir, get back. I'm playing around. I'll make one false move and I'll stay, take you down. Fantastic story writing. Who is this burglar, Eddie? <laughs> Hello, Growlithe. Growl? Oh, come on, Doc. You should be able to beat this Growlithe's ass easy. Easy clap, as they say on the internet. And I assume in future rap songs. I'm checking on the side to see if anyone in the house was listening to that. Wouldn't I be embarrassed if someone heard me talking about Ludacris' penis? There's a time and a place for that. Can you stupid frickin' coffins leave me the hell alone? Can you stop self-destructing? It's so predictable that you do it. You do it almost every goddamn time. And the one time you don't do it, fine. Whatever. Magnitude. Pop, pop. All up in your face. Looks good. See, now that's another rap song with a message. Um, which is that the Quad City DJs are here to party into overtime. And DJ, you should turn it up. Because uh, something, something, burn it up? Yeah, there you go. Over the top. Alright, dude. I don't think that guy's related to Team Rocket. I think it's a random ass thief that they just found. Oh, really? No, then. Oh, why does it have to be a freaking puzzle in this? I was not brought here to puzzle. I was brought here to enact justice. What the hell? There it is. You. You, sir. Two, sir. How about a shave? Your old pal. Yeah, it's another burglar. Oh, he has a G on his head. Maybe that stands for something. Why? Can you stop? I'm... I'm really tired of having Kid Fisto. <laughs> I'm trying to train Doc. And I'm fighting with the one team that constantly blows up their Pokemon thinking that they're gonna win. Self-Destruct is one of the worst moves I've ever seen in Pokemon. Because it's impossible to actually win with it. I say knowing for a fact that there's probably people out there who have one with self-destruction. But what's the point? Hello, Magmar. Of course you're here instead of... Hmm. Doc. Doc, if you can't survive one fire hit, then you don't belong on the team. That's my current standing point. Ooh, smog. That would have actually been pretty bad if it hit, I think. Actually, now that I think about it, you might not be able to take a fire punch. Oh. Shh. Sugar baskets. Oh. Up, up. I'm gonna be real with you. I didn't really didn't think he was gonna get critted. <laughs> I'm 
I'm sorry, Doc. That's unfortunate for a lot of reasons. Because now, Operation Pop Pop, Operation Get Doc into a Dragon, we lost our only freaking dragon! <laughs> what the hell am I gonna do now? <sighs> this is unfortunate. Mercy? What mercy do I have for freaking Doc? I need to now go s oh, man. I didn't think I was gonna be burying a friend today. Alright, I'm gonna pause and then we'll come back and we're gonna say our goodbyes to Doc. Alright, Doc. You are going to be our savior and when you were so close to evolving, you literally only had, I think, five levels. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. You only had five levels away so you would have been perfectly safe from that fire punch. But it seems like God wanted to take you away from me and gave that back Mara crit. So it's with a heavy heart we have to say goodbye, Doc. And this is the end of the episode, everyone. Till next time, I'll see you guys in the next one.